It's the start of a day's work for this family of otters. For centuries, fishermen in southern Bangladesh have trained the animals to help them improve their catch. Among these otters are two fully trained adults and three young apprentices. Fishing is the only source of income for this community, and the otters' help is vital. We use them because they catch more fish than we can alone, and so we make more money. Fishing this way, it's much easier to earn a living and cover our expenses. The otters do not catch the fish themselves. Instead, they chase them underwater towards the net. Fishing is usually done at night, when they can catch up to 12 kilos of fish, shrimp and crabs. But increasingly, when they drag up the nets, they're almost empty. Availability of the fish in the river is uh, reducing drastically and uh, over sedimentation, uh, water pollution and also, you know, um, use of different sort of nets and other gears for fishing is, uh, you know, uh, have an impact on the fish population of the river. As it becomes harder to earn a living, the traditional technique is in danger of dying out. It already has in other parts of South Asia. In the past two decades, the number of people fishing with otters has dropped by more than half. Now just 150 families remain, and the younger generations are opting out. If there are no fish, then there's no point having the otter fishing system. Taking care of them also costs money. We have to feed them three or four kilos of fish every day. Even my brothers and sisters now want to study. They don't want to get into the river and catch fish. If they study, then they will obviously move out and find jobs, or they will buy fish from the wholesale market and sell them. In Bangladesh, otters are an endangered species, and experts say otter fishing plays a key role in their conservation. As fewer fishermen are willing to keep and breed them for work, they worry the species will decline, together with this unique fishing partnership.